Hey guys, it's your girl Polish Beauty here again with another video. You guys know I try to upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And because I'm a registered nurse, I don't always keep to that schedule, but I try. We are everything beauty from high end to drugstore, and we even throw in some skincare in there. But today is going to be a different type of video. We're going to be doing some hair care video. This is going to be my first time doing a hair care video. Today's video is going to be about me doing the big chop, me going natural. I'm going to explain to you guys why I cut my hair. You're going to see some pictures of when I cut my hair and how the whole experience went down because it was definitely spur of the moment. So I'm going to try to sit down and explain to you guys what happened, why I cut my hair. I'm going to show you guys some hair care products that I'm currently using. Some hair care products that I am going to be using in the future. And if you guys like this video and you want to see more videos about my hair care, just comment down below. Let me know. I know there are plenty of hair care videos out there on this same type of subject. But you're going to be seeing it from a different, a different perspective because you guys will be learning with me as I learn. But before we get into it, how about you guys give your girl a big thumbs up, look down, hit your subscribe button. Now we are about to get into it. Okay guys, so the reason why I did the big chop. Um, let me tell you how it started off first. Let me just start from the beginning. From the beginning, um, I had took down my sew in, I had washed my hair, and I had been trying to go natural for like the past couple of years. I would like go without a relaxer for maybe about two to three, maybe four months the most. But then it would just get such a hassle to, it would be such a hassle to try to maintain my hair, to comb my hair, to style my hair. It was a nightmare trying to transition like that. And then, you know, when you get the braids, you got to take them out. It was just a hot mess. So I was never able to fully transition. I will always relax my hair. Now let's go back into, I think I've been having my hair cut off now maybe about two weeks total, if that. So let's go back to the moment <laughs> where I decided to cut my hair. So I had my sew in, you guys see me with the wavy hair. I had my sew in and, and I took my sew in out. I had made an appointment to get some braids and I was gonna get some more box braids because I was, going to be going to California and if you want to know about California I might do a video about what happened to California but you can check my Instagram for more information about California and so I was going to get some box sprays because I was going to be working but then anxiety started kicking in because I figured like when I got there I was going to be working with COVID-19 patients I was like I don't know the COVID going to get in the braids is it going to stay in the braids am I going to get sick so I was like bump it I don't think I want the braids and then I was like you know what I had been watching videos. I want to go natural. I want to do the big chop. So I called one of my very good friends for some support. I FaceTimed her. And she and I on FaceTime. Now granted I had already washed my hair. Took down my sew in. You know I was just wearing my regular hair at this point. So she and I on FaceTime. So I'm talking to her. And I'm telling her friend, I want to do the big chop. I want to cut my hair off. She, <laughs> she all on the phone. No, don't do it. I don't believe you're going to do it. I've never seen you with short hair. I can't believe you're going to cut your hair. Whoop de whoop de whoop de do. And then I was like, friend, I'm going to do it. It's going to happen. Whatever. And then she was like, okay, well, if you're going to do it, then go to such and such and let her cut your hair. Don't do it yourself because this, this, that, and the other. And I was like, friend, I'm going to cut it myself. i seen some YouTube videos. I can do it. I'm going to cut my hair myself. Bam. She's on the phone. No, da, 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 da. Don't do it because this, this, and this. And blah, say, blah, say, blah. <laughs> and while she on the phone talking trash, I took some kitchen scissors. Honest to God, some kitchen scissors out of my kitchen. Not no hair shears, no nothing because I'm not a hairdresser. I don't do hair. I do makeup. And I took some kitchen scissors and I... And I cut my hair while she was on FaceTime. She completely lost it. If you guys want to see how my hair was long, you can go back and see like my other videos. I got some videos up with me just wearing my natural hair before the big chop. And I cut my hair. She goes, no, I can't believe you just cut your hair, friend. Why did you do that? Oh, my God. I can't believe it. 
Oh my goodness, she was bugging out. We was, I was in my bathroom. We was on FaceTime. She was like, I absolutely cannot believe you just did it. And I just cut it. And so I just got the scissors and I just cut, clip, 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 clip. And I was like, dang, I think it's uneven. So I started, when she was, I was clipping in the back. She's talking about some, hold the scissors like this. Don't hold them like this. And so I'm in the back trying to cut my hair. She's trying to talk me through it because she does. She is like a hair person. So she does hair, but like, not like professionally does hair, but she is like a hair person. And she is natural herself. And so she was telling me, let's clip it like this. So I'm just clip, 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 clip. The next thing you know, I'll insert a picture. I don't know what's going to be the thumbnail. But I insert a picture of my hair that I actually cut. Now, why did I go to such drastic measures and cut off all my hair? Mind you, my husband was at work. My kids were in the house somewhere because they're on quarantine. And I had texted my husband while I was in the process on the phone with her with her telling him i'm gonna cut my hair he was like okay cool i was like okay <laughs> so after i cut my hair i sent him the picture of all <laughs> the hair i had cut off he was like i didn't think you was gonna cut it yourself i thought you was gonna go to a professional <laughs> but okay that's what you want to do it look cute or whatever and so i was like i want it to be curly my hair is not naturally curly i don't have naturally curly hair um, I want my hair to be curly. I want it to be cute or whatever. So I cut my hair and, and rightfully so. My hair was, it was cute now. It was together. Because uh, one of my other friends, my travel buddy who's supposed to go to California with me, she had came over to the house and she was like, no, I tell you, you need to go let somebody cut it. You need to go let somebody shape it up. I was like, I don't need nobody to shape up my hair. My hair look good, girl. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be cute. She told me, well, you need to get somebody to edge you up in the back. I was like, I don't need none of that in the back. Like, my hair is good. So, when she came to my house, like, I'm talking cash money to everybody. Like, I done did the thing. And she was like, okay. It's cute or whatever. So, what I did was wash my hair. And I had um, some products here that I'm not going to show because they're not no, they're not products that I enjoy. But it was just some products that I had bought for my son previously but I don't use them on his hair, so it was like a full container because I didn't like it. And so I put that in my hair. I got out of the shower, so my friend saw it. She was, I FaceTimed her again. She was like, okay, friend, she said it's not so bad. Of course, it wasn't even. I've never cut hair before, so it it was it was nice and it was cute. It was together. I had did, miss, I had did my little baby hairs and some edges. I don't think, if I have pictures, I'll put some up here. I don't think I have pictures of when I actually styled it. Um, and I was together, but anyways, to make a long story short, like the next day or so, I was starting to think like, I was having thoughts like, dang, I probably need to go let somebody fix it because like I was combing it. I had long hairs up here that was still permed and there wasn't like a real type of shape. I was starting to like having regrets or I just having thoughts of this is not right. So I text my friend, I said, friend, you're right. I'm going to go to such and such and I'm going to let her cut my hair. So, what she's done my hair before, but I was like, I just told her I needed my hair cut. I was like, it's going to be quick, so I already cleaned it. But she didn't know what I had done. She does like sew-ins and stuff for me. And so, I get there and I pull off the bun and she was like, girl, what the? Like, but she got me straight and she got me hooked up and she cut it in this little cute style that you guys see today. But, and I love this short hair and I think I look cute with it. I think I look bum with it. But I don't think I'm going to keep my hair short. I think I'm going to end up growing my hair back. But I'm just going to show you guys some of the products that I use now while I'm natural. And some of the products that I enjoy. Um, so one of the products that I use, I love Shea Moisture. I was using this line before I um, went natural. I was using it in my son's hair. I have a four-year-old. I use it in his hair. And I use it in my hair as well before the big chop. So I got the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk. And this is what I use in his hair anyways. But he had like the big jar. But I went to my local dollar store and just picked this one up real quick. Because I needed something for my hair. And it's so hydrating. And it, it's like it feeds your hair. It has no sulfates, no parabens. Um, no mineral oil, no animal testing, no petroleum. It's got a lot, not have a lot of things that will stunt your hair growth and this stuff is like freaking amazing and i love shea moisture the brand now i had been watching youtube videos and youtube videos have been telling me i need to co-wash that if you use um strong shampoos that it's going to strip your hair so i do have some shampoo and it is um it is a gentle shampoo that i do have and it is from shea moisture and i do actually have a, a conditioner 
So I'm not going to go and buy a different shampoo. I'm going to continue to use my shampoo because my shampoo is good for um, natural hair. I didn't bring my shampoo. But after I initially washed it, um, I co-washed it. And you can use a co-wash or you can use your moisturizer and some water. So I co-washed mine with the moisturizer that I already have. It's the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Keratin. And I think that this product is very good for natural hair that you can't find a better product than Shea Moisture. And especially this Black Castor Oil. It has um, peppermint and... Okay, so and then there's a hair mask that I also use by Shea Moisture. I didn't bring it up here, but I absolutely adore that hair mask. Like, psh, like it had me together. And then, so I used this to curl my hair. And I was cute or whatever, but then the next day, like, you got to make sure you tie down your hair. Because if you don't, like, put, like, a bunny on your pillowcases, if you don't sleep with satin or silk pillowcases, take all the oil and all the moisture out of your hair and your hair is dry. And so the next day, I like to use, when I... I like to when I like to snap my back is the Cantu Shea Butter Natural Hair Comeback Curl next day revitalizes and it refreshes curls, reduces frizz, adds shines, and it's made with pure shea butter and it's for all curl types. Um I do not know if this is I hope this is good for your hair. I heard Cantu products are good for your hair. Okay, and so after that, I did order me a co-wash that I've seen a lot of people use on Instagram. And it's the um, As I Am Coconut Co-wash. And I haven't even opened it up. I had it packed up because I was going to take it with Mr. Callie. And um, so when, I guess when I run out of conditioner or whenever I get, maybe whenever I get ready to co-wash again, I don't know how or which one I'm going to use, but I am going to use this. And then I've seen a lot of people using them. Is it the Benite Clay? Um, so I got me some Benite Clay, the Maya Magic Mud. And this is good for your face and your hair. And you're supposed to pair this with apple cider vinegar. Um, apple cider vinegar with the mother. And you, you want to use, like, the, the videos that I saw. Like, if you use a half a cup of this, then you use a half a cup of this. And make sure it's, like, a clay consistency. I have not used this as of yet, but I plan on using it. And I just got so many things that I want to to use to bring my hair back um, beautifully and strong and long. When I was little, I used to have like the most freaking amazing hair. Um, and then I started permanent and dyeing it. And I had a lot of heat damage in my hair. My hair was damaged. It had a lot of heat damaged. And that's why I ended up cutting it. It was the heat. I know it was the heat damage because I got the flat irons, baby. And I be snatched <laughs> and my hair had so much heat damage so that's why I want to um that's why I cut my hair and did the big chop because it was damaged and I feel like I wanted to transition to natural and I feel like it'd be easy for me to transition to natural if I cut it off now I do like the shortcuts but am I going to keep the shortcut or am I going to like just grow my hair back so you guys are gonna have to stay tuned to see these are some of the products that i already use and love and some new products that i'm going to be using i think i have some more products too because they, i've seen a lot of videos and a lot of videos say that you just have to try the products and see what products works for your hair not every product works work for every hair type and i believe that to be true because we are not all in one box you know, so what may work for me may not work for you. So if you guys want to take this hair care journey with me, please comment down below. Let me know. And I would do more hair care journey videos with you guys. And we'll just call it the hair care journey section. But this is my big chop for 2020. I hope this guy, I hope this helped you. And I hope this encouraged you. If you have damaged hair, if you've been thinking about doing the big chop, and you've been, you know, been scared about it because I was very scared. I was very insecure. I can't cut my hair off. And I was like, because I was on the phone with my friend. She said, that's okay, friend, if you cut it because you're going you to wear wigs. I like, I ain't wearing no wigs. I'm going to wear my hair. So, <laughs> so if you are feeling insecure 
or not feeling the best about it. You don't know how it's going to look, how it's going to pull off. You never had short hair before. I am that girl. I have had short hair before, but it has been back in my college days. And um, it was a while ago and since I've had short hair. And I enjoyed it then, but I always let my hair grow back. I've always always buy long weave when I get my sew ins as long when I get my box braids as long whenever I get any type of hair I always have long hair and so I could see why the people around me was afraid for me because these are people who had been in my life since back then and so they didn't know or they did not know how it would look on me or how comfortable I would be with it because they've only seen me with the long hair and they had my bag. They was like, what? Well, my husband says he really likes it. He enjoys it. And, you know, things are going great. I am happy with my decision. I am comfortable with my decision as of today. And I am loving that decision. So, if you are thinking about going for the big chop, I would recommend you do what's best for you. But if your hair is damaged and you don't feel like you can bring it back, the best thing for you to do is just get it out your head. Just go ahead, just do it. I recommend you go to a salon, a professional, someone who cuts hair. Don't cut it yourself because you can do more damage to your hair by cutting it yourself. But I recommend that you just go ahead and do it. And if you want to wear wigs, if you want to wear braids, that's fine too. But if your hair is damaged, you've got to get it off your head. you got to just throw it over. All right, you guys, this is your girl, Polish Beauty. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up.